and check how it works is that if I move over for example here uh, Fredrik Berling then we know he is this unique ID uh, what I do is that I normally put that as you do into the as I think I have done here and then I also walk over here and use the search tool here uh, to see if we can find him he's born 1803 1808 uh, the goal is in the long run to have the better search from inside and now we can see we have two Frederick Burling three maybe so then we check them and then we check that one and as I'm a member, we can see this is the same person. This is not. So what we can say is it I think I need to be logged in to do same as. Same person and then we can see we have him here. And then I would like to upload this item. Then I take the ID, goes back to my function. Or maybe we have that one already. Yes, we have it already. Boom, boom. This one I should have. So that is the unique ID. And then I do import. Look for 1803. Find nothing. Maybe I need to have focus. We don't get any focus. So then I just take this picture and say, please take me to the upload screen. And then in the upload screen, I, I change the ID of the file that should be fetched. Uh, as I'm on the correct category, we will have the category name here. And I say a picture of, you know, you can take away the Swedish text and then I say so. So now what I have done, change the ID on two places. This is the file going to be uploaded. This is uh, the link will be displayed. What I'm doing right now also is that I'm uh, uh, running uh, some uh, scripts finding all pictures in this upload category and see if we can find uh, if it's connected also to another category that is in Wikidata which means I can set the depict so I, what I get out here down here now I think it's maybe stopped or or it's still working it's a slow process no I, it's maybe it's Here we see what I get is that I get the picture number and the queue right, number, and, and then I will do a five minute break. I hope um, everybody um, had some time to, and then I will. Um, no, I lost where I was. Uh, set that this picture, this is the unique ID of the com common picture, will depict this one. So, and that is for right now, I have 3714 pictures that will get a depict so i did a script today uh, and that means that if we put what i do is i can show you what i have done is that i use pet scan to find all pictures in in um, this category then i change the art put to page pile and rerun it that means that i get a page pile so now i get this one 3922 and then i use minefield and input your comma files or use a page pile ID. I think it's this is the way it's done. No. 
try again. Minefield. Or use a page pile. Ah, uh, this is the way. So, so what he does now, he takes all my results and give me back the M number. And the M number is the unique key to um, all the pictures. So th this is the picture ID. This is the file name. And this is location. Then I create this CSV file. And the next step is that I... Um, has written this uh, tool that reads my CSV file, uh, walks through every line, try to find the Wikidata, trying to find a category which is about the person who depicts the picture. And then I filter out categories, which is also set, but should not be used. So this function here says, give me the categories this file picture belongs to, but not part of those. And then after getting that back, and here we can see that I have a mismatch. What is needed is that if you have a category like this, Gustav Alfred Karlström, then I have missed to connect that to Wikidata. And, and in the end we will get that this picture depicts that. So then I will do batch upload using quick statements. Uh, or open a fine quick statement. So that's the way to do it. So you can have, if you find something in uh, Sw Swedish Portrait Archive that's not found when you do the search, uh, just take the ID change the names and so on and then you can upload it with my tool i think it's easier than uh, downloading a file uh, i'm still thinking about uh, extending this but it will not be the next days to get better search um, what can be done in the api is that we can do if you have this mouse stop and all the search i'm doing right now is that i do like that search and it's rather good and I, normally i maybe also do search I, I take it i just take the name of the category after the category so what what i have done is that i, I changed the name of the categories to something like this and then you get the hit what can be done in the api which i haven't i have tested it but i'm not sure it's the best way forward is the advanced search so that means that i can do something like that and then he had a birthday i think 1901 uh, so and then you get mm, i guess better precision you see no i guess got one hit uh, and i have to play around with that so what could be done then I think is that when I'm on a place like this, now I just do George Steppendahl. What I could be doing is, if we refresh this one, is that I could go to the Wikidata item or read in this info box the birth date and so on. But I'm, I'm playing around and, and try to learn more about it. Uh, so that's the state of the art.